What's up, YouTube? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another video. Welcome to Young Butt Refrigeration. If y'all tuning in, y'all haven't subscribed, hope y'all consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button down below before you continue this video. Like the video, share it with your friends, family, or whoever, and I really appreciate it. Oh, today I'm going down the road to a uh, meat market uh, slash grocery store, but mainly they got a lot of meat, um, which is uh, their specialty. Uh, so we gotta find a leak. I'm gonna be going uh, with my uh, co-worker. He had another uh, store doing another call in some other town, uh, but eventually we will merge together uh, to find this uh, particular leak. We had another take before saying that it's possibly a leak in the floor. So we're gonna have to try to locate it. Um, anytime you have uh, refrigerant lines leaking under the floor sometimes majority of the time they run it overhead um, I experienced this one time running it back into the same route and man that was a pain in the ass that was at Florida uh, at a Winn Dixie that was a it was a bad I just felt like it was unnecessary but that was the tech call that's what he wanted to do so we went with it so that was a good experience uh doing that so so hopefully in this case uh we able to find a lead if not if it's in the floor hopefully they run it overhead um or they might run it back uh through the same position but that's gonna be like 10 times harder. It's doable, but it's gonna be more work and effort and stuff, which ain't no problem. But I'm gonna show y'all some uh, some small clips of me leak checking and uh, hope, hopefully locating the leak. If it's in the floor, um, it's in the floor, but we'll see. I got my leak detector charging up right about now. Make sure you have a decent charge before uh, I get to the store. But man, it's a beautiful day out here. The sun is out. Trees are green. I mean, what could go wrong on today, man? What could go wrong? But anyway, I see y'all. All right, guys. So this is the strong leak check-in right now. This is a protocol rack. Got all your scroll compressors down here. It is a hot mess. I ain't been at this store in a while. This is where all the circuits at. I had to talk to the recent tech. He was telling me that he was getting a leak down here in the pit. So I'm gonna have to uh, check. So I gotta check this pit, that pit. Uh, apparently all the medium temp uh, cases is uh, high. So they added gas and then they end up finding a leak somewhere in the pit. But I believe it was for meat freezer. So gotta see where that line set uh, goes at. But this is the zero zone. Last time I've been at this store, uh, the rack was down due to um, a uh, blown fuse in a panel over there. These boards right here, the Danfoss boards was off. Uh, so it wasn't uh, sending any type of command or nothing. So I had to change that fuse to get a proper voltage uh, to these bad boys here. Anyway, I thought this was the receiver, but it's not, it's 0%, but it's not even hooked up to nothing. As you can see, it's taped off. It ain't hooked up to nothing at all. Anyway, guys, this is the condenser. Got a hot mess. Getting to it could be a pain. Look, they cleared it up compared to what they did before. Anyway, very simple setup. Anyway, we about 40%. 407 a Same look like it could use a cleaner. But anyway, I'm gonna just leak check the store, the two pits and the rack, just to verify that we don't have any leaks. Not gonna lie, I like protocol racks, but I hate them at the same time. They're not bad, but um, 
say you have to fix a leak in here somewhere, like look at how much spacing you really got. You really don't have that much. But these racks ain't bad at all. So guys, right here, this is a pit. Most of the time, especially your older grocery stores, uh, the lines will run underneath uh, the ground, um, which is, I feel like beneficial, but a curse at the same time. Because if you have a leak, you literally have to like eliminate that whole line, rather you have to run overhead or going back the same direction. And like I said, I was at a Winn-Dixie in Florida where we literally had pulled the whole line through, which is crazy to me. But we ended up doing it and all that. We had to drill in the floor a little bit just to have enough room to uh, work with the pipe, but we made it happen. And it was pretty fun, but I feel like it could have been ran overhead, but I guess the timing that the case was, I guess, needed it. We had to uh, have it. So. Anyway, say it's picking up something down here, but I'm not even really getting on. Sometimes if a tech says in a certain area, we you know try to go back and look, but we're gonna have to be the finalists to actually trying to find a leak and locate it. And the pressure gonna be back on us and all that. I'm not picking up nothing though, but I gotta make sure that circuit ain't in uh, defrost if I have to put in refrigeration. Or I might have to put it in defrost. Sometimes you have to put a circuit in defrost uh, for the pressure to build up in order for you to pick up. I'm not even getting up. Right now, checking the uh, meat cooler. Finna check the store. Normally when you walk in a space, you will pick up something real quick. All right guys, as soon as I walked in this freeze, I was getting about 4 PPM, but if y'all look at this TSB, they had this panel off. It looked like it got a little oil on there. I'm not picking up nothing there though. I might have to just step back out. Yep, look at it. You gotta be somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, talk to me. Yep, right there. Look guys, so anytime you gotta leave someone, more likely it's going to be near the floor, you're gonna have something. For some reason I wasn't picking it up like when I came in, but now I'm picking it up. I'm going towards it. And that's just me like visually inspecting the stuff like that yellow, I already know that's like a sign of uh, oil. So whoever messed with this uh, bad boy, probably gonna be in trouble. I need to turn these fans off in it or put in defrost. You could see the oil around there. It's pretty oily right there. Damn. Let's make sure this is not leaking because that happened to me at that Walmart. I'm about to turn the fans off if I want an accurate reader. It's probably just blowing everywhere. All right, guys, so I placed it in defrost. Now we picking it up, fans are off. A 
as y'all can see, the leak is right there. I'm gonna tighten that part up and then tighten that up. All right, guys, we are getting zero PPM and getting nothing. Also, I went behind these soap bubbles. No leaks. I tight. Oh, crap. Damn. Anyway, I broke. Oh, uh, well, I tightened this nut right here. And also this cat right here. Tighten it up really good. I used uh, this wrench and the uh, inch and one eighth uh, wrench uh, to get up on it. So I can have a leverage. So I have one here. I had it about right there. And I just tighten the hell out of it. We'll make sure everything on the TSV is um, tight. I came across where this was unloose and I came across where this was unloose uh, before. So this ain't my first time coming across something like this, but it's crazy. I wonder if anybody worked on this freezer. They might go back to see who worked on it and why it wasn't tightened and why was it leaking. So it's gonna be on whoever though, but that sucks though. Anyway guys, make sure y'all just visually inspect. I thought one of them lines was running, but they're not. They look mighty close. But really checking everything. Step down so y'all can see. Zero PPM. That's good. Not getting nothing down here. That's it again before. Well, it's probably still a little bit down on the floor. For y'all like to go to the coldest spot, lowest lowest spot, so. Shit, I wonder where that damn lid at, but ain't no damn telling. Right now, I'm really checking my rack. All right, guys, I thought this was oil, but it's just Teflon tape. But um, I'm going to take these caps off, make sure the seals is good. Um, uh, we not getting no leaks except for that one spot. Pit is fine. But anyway, I'm going to go over a recap with y'all in a bit. Guys, that was pretty much it. Only thing we had to do was re-leak check. Um, the, the previous tech was indicating that a leak was in the floor. He showed us a video, but I went, I wasn't picking up nothing. Y'all seen it. And then I had a, another tech with me. Uh, he went behind me and he had nothing in the pit. Um, so I checked the freezer. I was picking up a leak in there. So, ain't no telling how long that been leaking, cause they added 100 pounds to that right the other day. So, 
And they're telling how long that been leaking. We don't know if, you know, they missed it. Could be all kinds of things, but I'm probably thinking that was the main leak. Yeah, you'd be so surprised what like a suspension valve uh, can do if it's like cracked. Uh, open rather on the inlet screen side or the uh, cap side you'd be so surprised um, it's just like at that Walmart the other videos or days ago uh, you have to go back I had a Walmart rat was completely out of gas well just about out of gas had a big leak due to the suspension valve leaking so this is the same type of scenario I was getting nearly what 9,000 uh, ppm. Uh, that's a lot that can do damage. And mind you, the rack is literally right there and the store is really small. So just imagine that doing that every day, you know. But we got it fixed. That's what really matter. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I missed one or two leaks. Uh, before somebody had to go behind me so things happen but that's why you it's always good to take that's why it's always good to turn off your fans and stuff in whatever area you at so you can get an accurate reading uh, at first I thought I wasn't getting any uh, anything in the freezer um, and then I rechecked again I was finally getting some so sometimes you have to go through like a second or third time to make sure you get accurate reading you know but man, it started raining and stuff. It's storming really bad. So I'm finna help out uh, the other tech that was just recently uh, with me. He left before me. So I'm heading towards his direction to help him. But anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And thank y'all uh, for tuning in. Drop your input down below. Let me know what y'all think. I think the leak was mainly in that uh, freezer. Uh, I don't think nothing was going on in the pit. But I made sure I went through everything. So, yeah. And I replaced uh, two caps. Added two caps with some uh, seals in it on these uh, suction headers. So, that's pretty much it. Raining hard, man.